Hello YouTube, this is Demo with Demo Vapes, bringing you my first review video ever. That's right, this is my first review video ever. Um, I have never been on YouTube before as a, well, I have been on YouTube before, but <laughs> never as a reviewer. I'm really excited to bring you guys some awesome content. I really do think that I have something to add in the YouTube vaping community, and I'm really excited to bring it for you. So, uh, please bear with me as I struggle through this process and learn Premiere, learn how to edit things, learn how to do Photoshop, and learn how to do all of this stuff. My content might be sporadic at the beginning, but my goal is to start getting to a point where I can be uploading three videos a week. Um, that's a goal for me, uh, arbitrary, don't hold me to that uh, right away. But uh, yeah, no, so that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do here. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or suggestions, I would love to hear them. And uh, without further ado, this review video is of the Reload version 1.5 RDA by Reload Vapor USA. All right, so here we have the Reload. If I can get it to focus here. Come on. Yeah, all right. This is the Reload RDA version 1.5 by Reload Vapor USA. Uh, this is the gold plated limited edition. Uh, I'm not sure what it's gold-plated. I'm assuming stainless steel because that would be the only thing that really makes sense. Up top, I have the drip tip from the Druga on here, and uh, she's just vaping fantastic. This uh, this RDA has kind of become my new staple RDA and something that I judge every other RDA off of. This RDA has just been performing fantastic. Um, I <laughs> love this thing. I, I mean, I've been vaping for a little bit now, and uh, definitely has unseated things like the Goon, and uh, a lot of other really phenomenal RDAs. Uh, I never did use the original Kennedy. Uh, a lot of people tell me it's a similar vape to that, given with the bottom airflow. Um, however, you know, so I, I, have, I have no way to confirm or deny that, but it is fantastic. Um, performance is great. Flavor is phenomenal on this, and the airflow is so smooth. So smooth, <coughs> so many clouds. <coughs> You'll have to bear with me a little bit, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, so anyway, let me just tell you a little bit about this thing. Um, this is a 24 millimeter RDA um, by Reload Vapor USA. Uh, the company is a US based company, however I'm not sure about the, uh, I'm not sure about where it's made. There is some question as to that. Some people have said that they have talked directly with the guy and that it is made in the United States. I have no information to that. Um, so I, I can't tell you. So if you're stars and stripes, red, white, and blue motherfucker, uh, you, uh, you, this might, this might, this may or may not be for you. As I said, it's a phenomenal RDA. I have just been having a great time with this thing. It's unseated everything from the goon to the cosmonaut to, I mean, well, I guess my list of sh uh, favorite RDAs is pretty short. The Goon, the Cosmonaut, and uh, that's about it, actually. If I'm thinking about it, the, the, the ones that I use all the time are the Goon and the Cosmonaut, and this has taken the top spot. Um, it's fantastic. I wouldn't say that it's something revolutionary. It's a bottom airflow RDA, but what we've seen in the past, um, this definitely makes the best use of it I've seen thus far. Got it on this uh, El Thunder mech mod. Um, there's a review coming for this very soon, and uh, I'll definitely do my best to give you a, a good, uh, good first impression on that as well. Inside of this, I'm running dual, um, small, smaller wire frame staples. This is uh, like .3 ribbon, six pieces of .3 ribbon on the inside, two pieces of 28 gauge, and the outer gauge, uh, the outer wire rather, is a 42 gauge wrap. Um, so. Performing extremely well. The build comes in at 0.11, and I'm vaping um, this uh, Pink Paradise by Bonsai Vapes. Uh, let's see if I can get her to focus. There it goes. Uh, Pink Paradise by Bonsai Vapes. This is their Seasons line. Um, phenomenal juice. This is a pink lemonade flavor, and it really has a nice pink grapefruit flavor, as well as being a really refreshing lemonade. I would highly, highly recommend you go pick up a bottle of this as soon as you can. Let's go down to the up and close. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about it. Alrighty everybody, here is the Reload RDA version 1.5 by Reload Vapor USA. This is the gold limited edition. Comes in this nice tin on the back. You've got uh, 
This device is for advanced users only, etc., etc. Some warnings and the like. Got a little code down here, not really sure what that's for, but you know, probably just an inventory code for them. All right, inside the package, if I can get this thing open. All right, inside the package, you've got this lovely gold plated reload RDA version 1.5. And um, yeah, it comes in this nice little foam pouch. Pull it out and set that aside for now. And then underneath this foam pouch, it's gonna be sort of a difficult thing to get up sometimes. You've got your bag of goodies and extras and stuff there with a little piece of sticky, it looks like, almost to keep them in place. All right, in this baggie of extras, you get an extra 510 pin right here. This is not a squonk pin, it's just an extra 510. You get four extra post screws and two extra O-rings. A little bit light on the stuff. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, some more O-rings and, um, you know, the screws are fine, but the some more O-rings anyway, at least one for the drip tip would have been, drip tip top anyway would have been nice. The drip tip top? the part that you put your drip tip in. All right, now the star of the show, the Reload RDA version 1.5. Now, already you can see here that this gold-plated finish is just a fingerprint magnet, and for me, as kind of a little, having a little bit of a compulsion to keep things really clean, um, this bothers the hell out of me. Stick it on a mod so we can take it, take it off. And if I can take this top cap off, these O-rings are wickedly tight. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Once you get the top cap off, you are met with a nice conical bell-shaped top cap on the inside. And if you can see there, if I can get the light right, I've already got some scratches on the inside. It's kind of a bummer. Um, sometimes the post screws um, can, or the posts, there we go. And kind of scratch up the inside of the barrel. Not a huge deal. It's not something that's going to be on the outside, so you're not going to see it. But something to something to note that if that gold plating starts to flake off, that might be a problem. On the top, we have an 810 drip tip, much like a uh, a goon or a Kennedy, and it comes with this black Delrin drip tip. All of the O-rings on this are really strong, and uh, so you've got this black Delrin 810 drip tip. Nice, uh, nice little funnel down there. Stick this back on. And finally, the star of the show. This is the Reload RDA 1.5 deck. Um, if any of you have used the Reload RDA version 1 or 1.2, you'll know that this looks pretty much exactly the same. Now, there's some small detail changes. Uh, most notably, the post screws are now uh, or the post holes, rather, are now a lot bigger. Um, they house thicker, bigger wires. And you can see we've got Kennedy-style airflow. Right there, some two nice tubes. Or, excuse me, four nice tubes, I can't count, apparently. And the little juice slots have gotten smaller, I think, from this to the Reload 1.2. I could be wrong about that, but they do look a little smaller. But uh, you've got a little wider space between the uh, airflow holes. So that way you can get a little bit more smoothness, I guess. I do notice that the airflow on this is a lot smoother than the Reload 1.2. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. If you notice, this this post right here is a bit canted. Um, and again, as a this person with a little bit of OCD, that definitely really bothers me. Um, yeah. On the bottom we have, oh my god, fingerprints. All right, on the bottom now we have Reload. Limited edition version 1.5. This is a serial number D0058. And uh, lovely deep engravings, high quality. Uh, we have a protruding center 510 pin. Um, this is, for me, totally safe for hybrid mech mod. I use this on a hybrid all the time with no problems whatsoever. Your mileage might vary if you feel that's uncomfortable or you feel that that's not. Uh... Let's see if I can get this to focus on me here. You feel that that's not uh, that's not safe, then uh, then don't use it. Simple as that. All right, so building on this thing is pretty simple. You just basically back out these all four of these screws, and you pop your coil in. And the first coil goes in there really nicely. It's really easy to get your leads nice and in there. Um, the second coil, you do have to pre pre clip your leads a little bit. Um, otherwise, you can run, run, wind up with some issues 
where um, your coil won't go in there all the way or you sort of have to either bend them or kind of hook the leads, I'm not sure. I'll show you here on camera how I build it and wick it. Um, bear with me, this is my first up close video. Uh, I've never <clears throat> done this kind of thing before, so we'll get through it together. Also, one small little quality issue, you might not be able to see it, but up by that wick slot on the top, you've got a little bit of what looks like bubbling or something of the gold plating. Um, it's not a huge deal, but I would like to see this just a little bit better. Um, again, not the end of the world, but you know, if that bubbles and flakes over time, that might be a problem for me. All right, this is gonna be my build station for this. This is the uh, Vaporize Nomads DNA 250. Uh, their 3000 Boss 3000 XL. This thing is gigantic. Um, little momentary break if I can get this battery door off. Inside of this mod, you get a 2800 milliamp hour um, lipo pack. Uh, so this lasts me several days, and I I vape around 100 120 watts. Uh, if I have a heavy day, this will last me a whole day. But if I you know, I'm using this and maybe a couple other mods or something like that. This will last me several days. So, um, definitely, if you're looking at to getting getting a, a high capacity battery DNA 250, this is something you should definitely consider. All right, we're back now that I've uh, switched switched lenses. We're gonna do a little build here. I've got uh, these screws. You just undo these guys real quick right here. Let's see if I can get this. this get in focus and stay in focus. All right, so you just undo these screws. It literally could not be simpler. <clears throat> I actually find that I have an easier time with uh, building on this sort of device than I do on like a goon or cl even a clamp style deck. I mean, you know, the goon is good, but this is fantastic. First time doing this on camera, guys. All right. So, first of all, here are the coils I'm gonna be using today. These are, if I can, again, get the camera to focus on this. There we go. These are frame staples uh, that I built. They are uh, six pieces of 0.3 by 0.1 ribbon Nichrome 80, uh, two pieces of 28 gauge Nichrome 80, and all wrapped up in 42 gauge Nichrome 80, five wraps, a dual setup comes in at 0.11 ohms. So it's a little bit low, but uh, you know, I'm comfortable running it on a tube mod, I have no problem with that, personally. If you have a problem with that, then you know, don't, don't do this, use a different build. And we're just gonna insert this guy. Easily one lead in like that. I'm just going to kind of use my finger to push over the other lead. If I can get this to, if I can see this. It's pretty hard to do this on camera, guys, apparently. All right. There we go. We have both of those things worked out. Now, take this guy out, and while keeping a good firm pressure on this coil, go ahead and screw it down.
Friday, everybody, and that was the up and close for the Reload RDA version 1.5 by Reload Vapor USA. It's a pretty awesome deck. It's, uh, e it's easy to build once you get a hold of it and once you get a hang of it. Um, once you get the hang of it. Hello? It's, it's got a bit of a learning curve. It's nothing too, nothing too crazy. Um, but definitely something you'll have to spend some time with and sort of get yourself, get yourself acquainted with. This RDA has some amazingly smooth, very slightly restrictive airflow. Um, it's not nearly as wide open as the Goon 1.5 or the Cosmonaut or, or the Peerless or any of these big cloud at atomizers. It's got a decent restriction to it. And for me, that is the way that I like to vape. Um, I like a, a small amount of restriction just to give you that really saturated, intense flavor. Saturated. Everybody talks about saturation. It's saturated, guys. Um, anyway, so that brings us to the pros and the cons. All right, pro number one on the reload. This thing has phenomenal flavor. Um, I love the flavor I get off of this. It's nice and saturated, really clean, um, hot vape, especially, I mean, obviously if you set it up that way, it can provide a really dense, hot, flavorful vape. Again, this is a .11 on the single tube, and I know that .11 is a little bit low. I know that .11 is a little bit low for a single tube. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not concerned. I don't take this build out of the house with me. Always, 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 when you're on a mech mod, know your battery safety. Understand battery safety. Understand Ohm's law and understand how to take care of your batteries and, and you know, the wraps and making sure they're intact all the time and, you know, everything about that. There are plenty of videos out there on YouTube for battery safety. I highly recommend you go check them out. Even if you don't vape on mech mods, you should know how to be safe with your batteries. So many clouds. It's just a cloudy bait. This thing has some smooth airflow, man. It's so smooth. Ugh. They definitely improved this between the Reload version 1.2 and the 1.5. I actually shot a video for the 1.2 and then the 1.5, I saw that and I thought, damn it, <laughs> now I gotta review the 1.5. Um, they've definitely gone only up with the 1.5. They've made some meaningful improvements and the airflow is one of them. Super smooth, super easy. There was a little bit of turbulence in the 1.2. They moved the airflow posts just a little bit, and the airflow posts, the airflow tubes just a little bit further apart from each other and I think that that made all of the extra difference. Uh, I get just as good a flavor and I get just as dense a vapor and just a much smoother experience. This thing is solid. This is, brings us to my next pro. This thing is solid. It is ridiculously solid. Um, there uh, is a feeling of really high quality to this um, that you just don't get with some of your cheaper $25, $30 atomizers. Um, and it, you, yeah, you just, uh, you just get the quality from this. It's a little bit pricier, but you definitely, it's worth it. It's so worth it. The, the screws feel like they're not gonna strip on me. Uh, I've had no, no danger at all of stripping the screws. They're big and beefy post screws. Um, nice Phillips head screws. You can get a big Phillips head driver in there and just really crank down on your leads. Uh, another pro is that this can be dripped down the center. Um, like other bottom airflow RDAs, you do need to be a little bit careful with this. Um, it can tend to, to leak or flood a little bit if you overfill it. Uh, also dripping down the center. Typically what I'll do is I'll take my RDA, I'll drip, 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 and then as soon as I'm done with that, I will take just a little, just to clear out the airflow holes. It just gets rid of all the little sloshiness and anything that could have dripped down into those airflow holes. Um, I do find that makes a really big difference with, uh, with how this thing, you know, with the leaking. It, I, I don't find that I get that much leaking from, uh, from that setup or from doing that thing. Uh, I think this is a subjective pro for sure. I think it looks good. Um, I think that they've done a big improvement between the 1.2 and the 1.5. All of the finishes now, save for black, are higher polished finishes, and especially this gold, man, is gorgeous. It's a fingerprint magnet. I mean, you know, I can just touch it right there, and then you can see, you know, maybe you can see that. I'm not really sure, but, uh, you know, it is a fingerprint magnet either way. Um, 
But other than that, I think it looks really good. Uh, last pro for me is the awesome build deck. Uh, it's easy to install your medium builds. Um, you're not going to get anything too large in here, and you're not really... Well, you could probably put smaller stuff in there, but if you put a build that's too small, <coughs> you might run into this issue um, where you've got your airflow... Uh, you've got your airflow tubes. Tubes? Tubes? Tubes. Eh, whatever. You've got your, <laughs> you've got your airflow tubes, and uh, they sit about this far apart. So if you put something that's too small and it sits kind of right here and you've got your airflows here, you're not going to, you know, it, it's the airflow is not going to really be direct under your coil. So just kind of be aware. You really need to uh, build a build that expands the full width between the post holes. All right, and then that brings us to the cons. Uh, some of these are subjective. Some of these are not subjective. Um, the gold finish is a fingerprint magnet. Um, it, it just is. And I'm really, really obsessive with keeping my stuff clean. Uh, and the fingerprints do bother me a lot. Um, I'm constantly using my shirt and trying to kind of wipe this thing off and wipe it down. Um, <coughs> just to make sure that it's clean. Because it just bothers me when it's all greasy and, you know, there's gunk from your mouth. And it's just not, yeah, you know, it's, it's just a bummer. Some people might, another subjective con... Some people might find that these knurling, this knurled section up at the top here, see it right there, see that knurling right there? Some people might find that to be a little bit uncomfortable on the lips. Uh, I haven't found it as such. It, uh, it, seems to, it seems to be very comfortable for me. The knurling is not sharp, and it's not really heavy etched in there. Well, let me rephrase that. It is very heavily etched, but it's not sharp at all. The 1.2 knurling definitely was a lot sharper, and they've really smoothed it out for this. <laughs> um, it is expensive. I bought mine for $75. The O-rings are tight. This is a huge con for me. Uh, the O-rings are so tight on this thing that I cannot, not, not, not get this thing off unless I am just cranking down on it as hard as I can. I usually have to use a towel or a gripper or something like that. I think it's compounded by the fact that this finish is so smooth. There's not a good way to get a purchase on this deck. Um, right now, I feel like I might be able to... See, it's just on there. Like, I, There is just no chance that I can get this off for you without having to twist it. And when I do that, I just lock this thing down on my mod and it's just a nightmare um, getting this thing off to clean it. Luckily, I never take the cap off when I'm vaping it because I just drip down the middle. But if, you ha if you're a cap taker offer or whatever, <laughs> or whatever, if you take off the caps off of your RDAs, y this is going to be a huge problem. And I don't know whether this is a problem on all of them or whether it's a problem just simply on this stainless, or not stainless, this gold edition um, I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tried any of the other 1.5s, but <clears throat> at least on this gold edition, it's just impossible to get this thing off and to like, you know, even if I twist it, it's not going anywhere. Um, <clears throat> I have to, and now I've really cranked it down. Even if I twist it hard to the left, I've cranked it on my mod. So I'm going to have to mess around with that a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> the O-rings they send with it. They send extras, they don't send smaller O-rings. Um, you know, it would be nice if I could get some smaller O-rings for it, or if they could make the O-rings just a little bit smaller, um, <laughs> just to let it come off and on a little bit easier. It does not need to be on there this tight. Uh, the post holes are a little bit close together. It does limit you in your, builds, in your build space. Now, I happen to not really prefer a build deck with massive spread apart post holes that are just designed for some big fuck you coils um, or are, you know, the only way you could run it reasonably is like with a series build or something like that. But I, I really like, I personally, who I vape medium sized builds, I love the post hole size on this. I, or rather, I love the space between the post holes. Um, they really improved the post hole size between the 1.2 and the 1.5. Um, <laughs> I don't find that I have any problem getting builds into the posts anymore, but I do f know that for some people that might be a con just because they're just too, they're very close together. One of the last, uh, one of the last cons for me is that there is, that the deck can have a bit of a learning curve. 
Um, <laughs> usually your first coil goes in with ease, no problem. But when you go to install your second coil next to it, you do have to clip, pre-clip your coils just a little bit so that they can get in there. Um, if you leave your leads too long, you're going to try to bend your leads in there and it's just a nightmare. Um, <laughs> once I kind of, I got that tr tip from Grim Green, I watched his review video for it. Um, and uh, that totally works, and that's a thing. And that's the thing that everybody should do when they use this RDA. It makes it a lot easier. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up, um, which leads to the big question and the big answer of the day. That's a Rip Troopers thing. Fuck me. This leads to the big question, would I buy this again? Uh, yes, I plan on buying another one, and maybe another couple, just so that I have the different colors. I love this thing. This thing has become my new favorite RDA, the flavor. The flavor, the flavor. Just fantastic. I just love it. Um, anyway, I hope to see you guys back to watch some of my videos in the future. I'm gonna upload this one. Um, I'm gonna try to get this out. What, what day is it today? Well, it's now two in the morning on the first uh, here in Minneapolis, Central Time. Um, <coughs> so, I'm going to try to get this out today, is the idea. I'm going to try to stay up and edit this and get this out to you guys and hope to get some good comments and some good feedback. I'm really looking forward to reading all of them. So, anyway, this is Demo with Demo Vapes, and I'll see you later. Fuck that up. <laughs>